Hi there, I'm Dave from ModWorld and today I'm going to show you a useful tip and that tip is how to adjust the DFD buffering size within contact. Now DFD stands for direct from disk and when uh, patches have that setting it means that it is only loading the front of all the samples in the patch and it's relying on being able to play the rest off the drive in real time as you play. Um, which most of the time it will do. But recently someone got hold of us and said uh, one of our feedback uh, patches was timing out for them. And so I'm going to load a patch from feedback and show you how to fix that if it happens to you. It's all depending on your RAM, what drive you're playing it off, how, what your system is like, whether how smoothly everything runs. So this, is, this will be able to help you make things run smoother if you happen to be having any issues. So say you load that atmospheric one patch. Now what that's got is long performances of sort of feedback and there's three you can see there's three different mics close mid and far then you've got a whole lot of other samples that the mod wheel is sweeping you through plus you've got the original version of the samples plus the fully tuned version of the samples so that's a lot quite a lot going on so um, at the moment that patch is 2.26 megabytes in size if we go into the here and here's you can see here is the DFD um, telling you the setting of what that can be. You can have DFD, you can have sampler, you can have tone machine or beat machine, but this is not what I'm doing here. I'm just going to show you how to adjust DFD. But if you put, happen to have that on sampler, that means suddenly it's loading all the samples into the sampler and it's 148 megabytes, but they're all, all in there. If we go back to DFD, it's only 2.26 megabytes, but that may be too short for some people to play everything smoothly. So what you do is you go into instrument options here and it defaults to 60 kilobytes. That's what, how most people's will be set if you open that. Well, you can just ride that up. So let's take that to 120, double what it was, say. And now, the patch is 4.55 megabytes, but that's a, still a lot less than 140 megabytes. So if you were having any issues, you could just ride this until you're getting smooth performance wherever it happens to be. And of course, if you've got a patch with very short samples, or um, you, can, you can save RAM by pulling that right down um, to where it plays smoothly. So you can adjust this for each patch you can do it globally if you wanted to, but you'd have to be having pretty major issues, I reckon, before you do it globally. But if you wanted to know how to do that so that you're, every time your contact um, instruments have a bigger buffer, you'd go into the setting up here of your, and you'd go to memory, and here it is here. So you could make that higher if you wanted, and which would mean all your patches would have a bigger DFD buffering size. Um, and you'd probably have to tick that, I think, to say you want this to override any whatever the patch happened to be. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't probably do that. I'd just do instrument by instrument if you're having issues and just try and keep them as low and keep everything as smooth as possible. And then if you want, you can save the patch with that buffer setting. Okay, that's it. Tip number one. Um, how to adjust the DFD buffering size in contact. I'm Dave for Modwheel. See ya.